Roasted Green Chili Chicken Flautas, optimized for overlanding. Check it out. Hi, Jason Shaw with Overland Cookery. Welcome back to the Overland Test Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be doing a chicken flautas with fresh roasted green chili. Then we're going to load it up with fresh guacamole, salsa, Mexican crema, cotija cheese, and a really nice cabbage and radish slaw. And importantly, the ingredients in this recipe last for up to five days when you're on the trail. And as always, we'll have a full printed copy of this recipe on our recipe blog, link below. So the best peppers to use for this recipe are gonna be New Mexico green chilies. However, they're traditionally seasonal and you're not gonna be able to find them year round. A fine substitute is gonna be an Anaheim pepper, which we have here. Now they don't have the same concentration of flavor compounds as the New Mexico cultivar would, but the flavor profile itself is very comparable. Now, if you have a campfire going, roasting these directly over the hot coals is gonna give you the best result. However, we can replicate it using either a single or dual burner stove by first wrapping the peppers in aluminum foil. And that's gonna achieve two things. One is that aluminum foil is gonna help distribute the heat so the chilies roast evenly. Two is when you pull the chilies off to cool down, the steam that gets trapped inside that aluminum foil is gonna help the skin separate from the pepper more easily, making them easier to work with. All you do is tear a sheet of foil off and wrap them up. I recommend a heavy duty aluminum foil. That way we don't burn through the foil while we're roasting the peppers. Roast over a medium flame, turning constantly for about five minutes. You'll know when they're done because the peppers will soften. But you can always take a peek on the inside of the foil to see how they're doing. We're looking for a nice blistering of the skin, like this. So the chilies are gonna take a minute to cool down. So go ahead and put those aside and we can get started with making our guacamole. Now I'm sure you have a favorite guac recipe, so if you wanna use that, feel free. I prefer to keep it simple for this recipe. So we're just gonna use avocado, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and a little bit of lime juice. Skin and pit the avocado. Add your garlic and onion powder, pepper, salt, a squeeze of fresh lime juice, and smash with a fork. Okay. Next, shred your cheddar cheese, about one tablespoon per flauta. For the garnish, Shave off the cabbage and thinly slice the radish and add to a bowl. Spritz with fresh lime juice and a healthy pinch of salt and toss to combine. All right, at this point, the chilies are cool enough to handle, so go ahead and get those ready for the flautas. Remove from the aluminum foil. Gently pinch and peel the skins to remove. Then, taking a knife, cut the stem off, slice in half lengthwise, and gently scrape the inside to remove the seeds. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients prepped. It's time to heat the oil up and start building our flautas. Pour your canola oil into a large fry pan and bring it up to temp, about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. In terms of cookware, you can use any larger 10 or 12 inch fry pan. We're using a carbon steel skillet tonight. I really like these because they cook just like a cast iron, but they weigh less and they have a larger full size handle so you don't risk burning yourself when you're trying to move the pan. And another trick for the field is to bring your instant read thermometer, which work not just for meat, but you can also check your oil temperature to make sure they're not gonna overheat whatever oil you're cooking with. Lay down your tortilla and add the chicken. I love canned chicken for this recipe because it packs so well in the vehicle. Simply drain the excess water and using a fork, break up the chunks of chicken into a line down the middle of the tortilla. Lightly flavor with some seasoning. I usually use adobo seasoning for this, but tonight we're gonna to be using a local product from Kinder's, which is a tequila lime seasoning. Then add your grated cheddar cheese, fresh roasted green chili, and roll the tortilla in half to help compress the filling, like this. Lastly, roll the tortilla up into a flute shape and secure the flauta with a toothpick to keep it all together. Okay, our oil's up to temperature. Now it's time to put our flautas in and fry them up. Gently place them in a pan and rotate until all sides are golden brown, about one to two minutes. Now it's time to load these up. Spread a thick layer of guac right on top, almost like cake frosting, then follow up with a bead of salsa. Should be good. Whoa, I'm not losing. Mm. 
Next, drizzle the flautas generously with crema, a pinch of cabbage and radish slaw, and dust with crumbled cotilla cheese. And there we go. Chicken flautas with fresh roasted green chili, guacamole, salsa, cotija cheese, Mexican crema, and a really nice radish and cabbage slaw. Love this recipe because it brings big flavor, but like I said before, the ingredients last for up to five days when you're on the trail. Now for full printed copy of this recipe, check our recipe blog and online store out at Overland Cookery. We've got stickers, patches, and of course, our cookbook, Overland Cookery. We'll see you out there. Okay.